have arrived in Okinawa, and before we set off to explore the island, we'll be staying in the city of Naha. Here we are at the first hotel of our trip, which is the Nest Hotel Naha Kumoji. The hotel is located at a 5-minute walk from the Miibashi monorail station, and around the corner you'll find a Lawson's convenience store and the famous Route 58 is at your doorstep. As a bonus, there's a great yakiniku restaurant next door, but we'll show you that at the end of the video. As we enter the hotel, we are greeted by a large open space, some beautiful artwork on the wall, and Okinawan wood style everywhere. We love a large lobby like this because it always feels super welcoming. Many hotels in Japan have a self-checkout, but this one still has that friendly human touch. And as with most hotels in Japan, the room amenities are available in the lobby. Let's go up to the fifth floor and check out our room. We booked a deluxe twin room and for this we paid 8,235 yen per night, excluding breakfast. See who's there. As always, we're greeted by the lovely Lawrence. We step into the room, take an immediate turn to the left, and we step into some sort of a deconstructed bathroom with here on the left side, a shower cabin as we've seen them before in Japan. And then if we go straight, um, there's a door that we've opened. And then you'll see a Japanese toilet with all the functions, even some privacy music, which I don't know, kind of gives the whole situation away, you know? And then here to the left, you'll find a sink with some towels and the sink is on top, which looks nice. Uh, very impractical, but I love the color design so far. Then here, you've also find, here you'll also find a water kettle as well as two cups and coffee. And then if we take another turn, you'll see a secret door that leads to a refrigerator with two bottles of complimentary water. So let's close this right up and we'll take a step back and we'll see that there's some small space to hang your clothes. There are in-room slippers provided and right over here you'll see a full-length mirror. Hello! Then we'll open this door to the room. Wow, what a reveal. And hey, who do we have there? It's Lauren staring outside the window, looking to find more likers and subscribers in Naha Okinawa. Let's hope he finds them. Then to the left are the aforementioned two twin beds. Let's do a little test. Firm, slight bounce. Um, seem to be pretty standard mattresses. Right over here, we have what looks like a not smart TV, but we'll report back on that later. There is ample storage space. We've seen that before very differently if you followed us along. And then right here, you'll find a headboard with buttons to control the lights. Very nice. There's also a little sofa that can be converted into a third bed. And then right here, we'll see, oh, I'm tripping. No, I'm not. Here is a view of the streets of Naha. We're near to quite a close street with a Yakiniku restaurant. We're quite near a busy street, but you can't hear that at all. As for the breakfast, we didn't include it in our booking, but since we are very committed hotel reviewers, we decided to try it out, especially for you, dear viewer. Okay, let's go. The breakfast option costs 1500 yen per person and comes as a buffet-style breakfast with lots of local Okinawan dishes to try. And yes, we'll try them out.
As for the Okinawan specialties, they had this green vegetable called goya, which is also known as bitter melon. We tried it! It's safe to say we didn't really enjoy it. For our second round, we tried Okinawan donuts, which we will definitely have to try again later on our trip. After breakfast, the whole area turned into a co-working style space, which is perfect for editing more Yes and Explore videos. And as an added bonus, there was free flow coffee and tea from 11 in the morning until 10 at night. Within this space, they also had a handy microwave for convenience store food, there were lots of kids chairs and also an ice machine. They also had a vending machine with Dr. Pepper and Sprite, which are brands we didn't see at all during our time traveling around Kyushu. The hotel also has a coin washer and dryer machine and lastly they also offer free strollers to rent. The hotel is located conveniently in Naha, with the Koksudori being only 10 minutes away by foot. But as we said in the beginning, if you're looking for food, you can go right next door to the hotel, where you'll find the Yakiniku King. This restaurant is an unlimited Japanese barbecue restaurant, where you grill the unlimited meat on the table, and also the sides are unlimited, as well as the desserts. We're still hungry, we're still going! Marshmallow. Pro tip, go during lunchtime when it's much more affordable than during the evening and not at all busy. If you enjoy grilled meat, here is a bonus restaurant. Really close to the hotel is Yapari Steak, a famous Okinawa chain. Here they serve all kinds of meats for a very affordable price. And the meat comes to your table and you can finish it off to your liking by grilling it on the hot stone. And yes, this too comes with unlimited sides, like rice and cabbage. Also, pro tip, their karage chicken is amazing. In conclusion, we can say that the Nest Hotel is a great hotel. Especially for the price that we booked it for. The hotel has a great overall feel and we slept very well there. The working space with free coffee was ideal for us and is a big plus. We would recommend it for a stay in Naha, for sure. In our next video, we will show you the amazing road trip we did across the island. So if you want to see that and more, then be sure to subscribe to us at Yes and Explore. We want to thank you so much for watching. Bye!